Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this. If you're keeping up with us, this is lesson two, and this one is on knowing your limits. And knowing your limits means that when you see on the back of your nutrition labels, you have 2,000 calories per day recommended dietary calorie intake for the average American. Some of us need more, some of us need less. But this also includes the amount of sugar. This is the daily amount recommended of sugar per day that we intake. This is our fat that we take, and this is our daily amount of salt that we should have. A teaspoon is five grams. So if something has 35 grams of sodium in it, you can roughly say that's seven teaspoons. And that's a lot of salt and sugar and added things that we may not necessarily need. The best way to control that is to make these things yourself. That way you're the best quality control that you have because you know exactly how much sodium you put in it. You know exactly how much fat and sugars that you add. And there are ways that you can do this that lessen that so that, you know, I'm guilty of it just like everybody else is of running through the McDonald's because it's more convenient, it's easier, it's late, I'm tired. And, but, in trading that off is you don't know how much salt and sugar and fat was cooked into that meal that you just ate. So the best way to control that is to do it yourself. And I have got some salad dressings here because we all like our dressings and uh, they do carry a lot of fat and oils that we can necessar don't necessarily need. The first one we're going to do is a zesty Italian herb dressing. And it is very simple, and I'm borrowing little jelly jars. For this recipe, you just need a tablespoon of vegetable oil. There's that. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Then you need a third of a cup of either tomato juice or orange juice. And I've used orange juice in this one. But whatever you have at home is fine. And then for our uh, seasonings, we've got, this is an oregano, it's dry, oregano. Then we have dried basil. Then we're gonna have just a little bit of a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then you need just a quarter teaspoon of plain salt. You can put these in a jar if you don't have a jar at home, then you can do them in a bowl and you can pour them into whatever. And then you just mix these up. And there you have a zesty Italian herb dressing that you've made at home and you know exactly what, how much sodium, how much sugar, how much fat you have put into this dressing. And it's really actually pretty good. Quick, easy to do. That's our Italian one. Now we're gonna make an Asian dressing. And of the ones that I've done in classes before, the Asian one has been the favorite. Everyone seems to like it best. So let me get that tray where I have all of our ingredients. Again, I've got little jelly jars. And for this one, we just need to, uh, we've got our vegetable oil. It's just two tablespoons. Now then, the jar. Then we have three tablespoons of vinegar in this one. Okay. And then we have a low, soy, a low sodium soy sauce. Try to say that five times fast. Pour it right in there. And then we need two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's going to work with the acid in the vinegar. And then we need two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then half a teaspoon of just garlic powder. Pour all those over in there. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna shake these dressings up. After you make them and use them, you can refrigerate them. And it'll say on the uh, recipes to uh, refrigerate for an hour before you use them. But if your ingredients are cold, you wouldn't need to do that. But here is your lovely little Asian dressing that we've made. So, for our third dressing, 
This one's going to have a little bit more fat to it than the others. And this one is a creamy Italian herb dressing. And it compares to like the creamy Italian you would find on a salad bar, like a Pizza Hut or something like that. You're going to find this dressing on there. So with this one, we just need our, this one has plain yogurt. So we're going to stick, this is a fourth a cup of plain yogurt. We're going to put it down into our little jar here. Okay. This one also has a fourth a cup of light mayonnaise. Remember we talked about that in the last one that you can cut the calories and the fat by using yogurts in place of your dressings, your salad dressings, whether it be a Miracle Whip, mayonnaise, whichever salad dressing you're using. This one, we needed a fourth a cup of skim milk. Then we need dried Italian seasonings. You can buy these or you can make it at home. It's just... Uh, thyme, oregano, and basil, all mixed in. You can make your own Italian dressing. And when I show you a quarter cup, this is just a quarter cup of fat. This We use this in the fat, and we use this in the yogurt. Not very big portions. So here is our Italian seasonings. Oh, put that in there. And then we have garlic, a half a clove of garlic minced. And then we have a dash of salt. Now you probably have spoon measures like this, but we have, <laughs> for those of you who've always heard of it in your recipes, this is a, let's see, which one is this one? This is a smidge. This one is a pinch, which is what we needed. No, we needed a dash. There's a pinch and there is a dash. If you don't have that at home, it's okay. Just eyeball it. Just a little bit of salt to pour in there. Again, put the lid on. Shake your dressings up. And this is not going to be a ranch because you're going to put, it's going to be reminiscent more of an Italian dressing than it is a ranch. And there's your dressing. Mixed up, ready to go in the salad. The common serving for salad dressing on a salad is two tablespoons. So when you look at that dressing and you see the calories on the back of it, remember that's per tablespoon. And the common serving is two tablespoons. The last one we're going to do <clears throat> is a salt-free blend because we do need to watch our sodium intake. And this is a salt-free blend and I am a saltaholic. I do eat too much salt, I know this. But this will take the place of some of that salt. So we're going to do this one real quick too. This is a dry that you could use like as a seasoning on, uh, if you have, were having a stir fry or something like that, you could season your meats with this. So for this one, we need two tablespoons of onion powder. We need two tablespoons of garlic powder. You need one tablespoon of paprika. You can use regular or smoked, it doesn't matter. It's just all your taste in it. And then this is one and a half teaspoons of thyme. And then this is just a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. This will, I mean, I can put this on chicken, you can put it on pork, you can put it on beef, and it's gonna take the place of a lot of the different seasonings and you can see there is no sodium in this at all. So this is good for if you're on a sodium-free diet. We make these, and I do them in class, and I have these nifty little shaker bottles here that we put this in so that we have it here when we need it. But if you don't have a shaker bottle, you can just stick this in a little Tupperware container and put it in there and just sprinkle it on what you need. These are just some simple ways to control the fat and the sugar and the sodium intake in your diets. Enjoy the dressings. Try them. Let me know in your comments if you enjoyed them or not. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.